It's finally here. Just got my copy of Food Science for Garden. This is the fifth book in my garden science series. And it's the one I've been really looking forward to. We came up with this idea four years ago. And to celebrate, we've arranged for a special code to get you a 25% discount on the purchase of the book if you buy it from my publisher, New Society. And that discount code is in the description below. So what is this book all about? Well, it's not a how to garden book. It's not going to show you how to plant seeds and how to start vegetables. Although there is one chapter on gardening, couldn't resist. Most of the book is about nutrition, nutrient dense food. What is it? How do we recognize it in our food, both the food you grow and the food you buy? How do you preserve it? How do you cook that food to maintain the nutritional value? The title of the book, Food Science for Gardeners, goes on to say, Grow, Harvest, and Prepare Nutrient-Dense Food. Well, the grow part is not so much how do we actually grow it, but what kind of conditions make nutrient food? For instance, uh, are heirlooms more nutritious than hybrids? How do we harvest the food? When do we pick it? When is the nutrient content at its highest? And now that we have them in the kitchen, what do we do with them? Should we store them in the fridge or on the counter? The way you store this food affects its nutrition. Now, one thing this book does not do, it does not give you recipes. This isn't a cooking book. But it does look at all kinds of different cooking procedures to understand how those affect your nutrition. For instance, if you boil your beans, are you losing all the vitamins? You might think so, but that's actually not what happens. Now, you can't eat everything you grow. You have to preserve some of it. What are the preservation techniques? Freezing and freeze drying. And how do those affect? food. How long can you keep food in the freezer and still have nutritious food? And then there are other chapters. The first one discusses what is nutrition. Now you might think there's a simple answer for that. The general public's understanding of nutritious food is wrong. And most of those headlines you see about nutritious food, they're also wrong. You've heard about vitamins and minerals. Those make up maybe 35 different compounds that are important. But did you know that there are over 5,000 different compounds in food that are important for our nutrition? That has a dramatic impact in our understanding of what is nutritious food. There are also two important chapters in the book on safety. One is on chemical safety and the other is biological safety. So chemical safety deals with things like pesticides various chemicals that agriculture uses. How does that affect our food? You might have heard about the dirty dozen. These are the 12 fruits and vegetables that are the most toxic because of the pesticides we use in agriculture. Well, how important is that? The book even discusses the problems of plastics and how safe those are to you. And then there's the biological safety. That has to do with pathogens and bacteria and virus. How do we keep those from growing on our food? How do we keep our food healthy? How should we wash our food? Those sorts of things. That's biological safety. So why did I write a book like this? I mean, there's lots of books out there about growing good food. And that's what I noticed. They're all about growing the food. There's very little information out there about growing nutritious food. And a lot of the information that does exist, well, it's wrong. There are more myths about food than there are gardening myths. The other thing I noticed is that there were some good books out there on food science, but they're textbooks. They're designed for students who are studying this as a career. They're not designed for the garden. So I've taken a lot of that information and converted it into a form that makes sense to the homeowner. And that's how the idea for the book started. It's not a textbook. It's not super technical. Everyone can read this book and understand it. To give you a flavor of the book, let me read a little bit from it. This is the introduction section. Food science is the study of food and how it affects our health. It combines several disciplines, including chemistry, biochemistry, nutrition, microbiology, and engineering to solve problems associated with the food system. Food science looks at the basic chemical components of food and tries to understand how they are affected by various preserving and processing techniques. 
such as freezing, drying, pasteurizing, dehydrating, and canning. Then it looks at how all this affects our health with a focus on nutrition. As a gardener, you have a special connection with food science. You not only care about the food you buy, but also the food you grow. In fact, many of you are growing food to ensure that you have access to the most nutritious food possible. This book bridges the divide between nutrition and gardening. It will provide the background needed to fully understand the nutritional value of food and then show you how your activities in the garden and the kitchen can improve the quality of your food. I think that summarizes the book pretty nicely. For those who know me, you know I love myths, and so quite a few myths snuck into the book. Here's one of them. Artificial flavors don't taste right because they contain too many chemicals. Lots of people believe that. The exact opposite is true. Artificial flavors don't taste right because they contain too few chemicals. For example, artificial strawberry flavor has between 5 and 30 flavor and scent compounds, while real strawberries have over 300. Here's another myth, and I believed this one until I did the research for the book. Does soap kill germs? Well, this is a common belief that is simply not true. Neither hand soap nor dish soap, which is actually detergent, kills germs. That's news to me, but it turns out it's fact. The reason we use soap to wash our fruits and vegetables is to help remove the germs from the surface of the food. It doesn't actually kill them. And in fact, the best way to wash your fruits and vegetables is just with warm water. Don't use soaps because they're actually toxic to us. And don't use other concoctions and products you can buy. Science has looked at this and Plain old water works the best. The myths in this book are going to help you understand nutrition so much better. There are now five books in the Garden Science series. I now have books on plants, soil, compost, microbes, and the food science book. Now, if you're interested in this book or any of my other books, you can get a 25% discount from my publisher, and I'll put a code for that discount in the description below. Happy Garden.